There is a proverb that states, it takes a village to raise a child. The town of Kennebunk, Maine took that idea a step further and decided that it takes a village to keep our children safe. So to address the urgent need to inform young adults about the consequences of drinking and driving, the community came together to create the movie Point of No Return. What is unique about Point of No Return is that the community pulled together to keep its young people safe. The idea for the movie came in a dream to the Kennebunk Chief of Police. The next day, he began to contact others in the community to see if this dream could become a reality. I think when we first started this whole project, it was because Chief of Police had a dream. He came to us and asked us if we'd be willing to shoot it. I think we went beyond all expectations for everybody, including ourselves. It is one thing to have the idea, and it is another to bring it to life. However, very quickly, it became clear that the entire town of Kennebunk was willing to get behind Point of No Return and do whatever it took to get this done. Everybody that we turned to, without any exceptions and without any questions, gave us what we needed to, to make this production possible. The community knew how important this message was and they wanted to be part of it. But not only to see the, the, the young actors, but to see um, the firemen and the, the policemen and women and people, you know, really committed to making this film and really feeling that this was going to make a difference. The entire town understood that making the movie as authentic as possible was crucial to the success of their effort. I think my staff were operating as they would in, at a normal emergency. Um, they operated, they, they did the extrication, they did the patient care, um, the contact with the parents, they, they, everything that they did would have been as it would have been in a real situation. Towing off that night, although it was a script, they arrived on scene, they, they see the accident, and again, it was just, it was realistic. You heard the kids screaming and yelling, um, you saw the blood. Um, you knew it had to be done, and that's, they got into that mode where they have a job to do, and that's what they did. Short of a real live accident, this movie was probably as close as you could get to it, you know, as close as we could do for realism. When asked why they agreed to take part in the creation of this movie, the community gave an emphatic and universal response. All we're trying to do is get the message out, and again, save a life. If we can save one life, the whole project was worthwhile. If we can participate in that, save one life, such as with this film, uh, we think that this what we need to be doing for our students, our community, and the families here in our communities. We save one accident, we're ahead of the game. Watching the reaction of the people the community most wanted to affect was gratifying to all those involved. This movie just showed me how important the little decisions that you make really are. And don't drink and drive, don't drink and drive, and it just, it doesn't, like, People saying that doesn't connect with us as students, but seeing other students on the screen in that situation, it really like hits home. It was very authentic and, and almost scary to think that that's what actual people my age go through. A lot of people came up to me at prom when we went to prom and they said, you know, I changed my mind tonight. I was going to do something I probably shouldn't have done and I decided to listen to the message from the movie. Kids today, more so than, than ever, don't need that sugar coat uh, that, that we as parents and, and, and educators have, have given them. They need that harsh reality of what getting behind the, the steering wheel is, uh, what jumping in a passenger seat means, and, and the responsibilities that go along with both. I think the teens are capable of good decisions and I think that as a community the more support we give them the more that we really drive home the right message the more that that we're there for the teens in our community it helps them make those right decisions. It takes a unique village and a community effort to make a movie like Point of No Return. The town of Kennebunk, Maine showed it was ready, willing and able to take on a dream and turn it into reality.